What's up guys, it's Third War. I haven't made a video in a while. I'm gonna start dropping regular videos again. I got all the negative uh, New World Order, FEMA camp, uh, tyranny videos out of the way. Not that that's not happening, that totally is happening, but now I'm gonna introduce some more positive concepts uh, in the videos that got coming now so you can kind of empower yourselves and do something about what's going on in the world and uh, even change your own personal uh, position where, where, wherever you're at in life so you can you can empower yourselves I don't know just you know so this video is about Nikola Tesla I don't have all the details I'm not going to drop massive amounts of information I'm going to tell you the basics so you have a foundation and then after that you can do your own research and uh, fill in the gaps so Nikola Tesla he was born in the late 1800s I believe not exactly sure I didn't write that down in my notes so died somewhere in, uh, in the mid 1900s he was the greatest genius perhaps the greatest genius to ever live in all of human history. He, uh, he's responsible for pretty much all technology that you see around the world right now. He created alternating current. Uh, Thomas Edison was alive at the time, and when Nikola Tesla first came to America, he started working with Edison, and it, was, it wasn't working out. It just uh, it wasn't happening. So eventually, Nikola Tesla broke away from Edison, and Edison, his whole thing was direct current. So you have alternating current and you have direct current. Uh, Direct current, if I remember right, you had to, every mile or so, you had to have like a little electrical box, I'm, I'm not exactly sure if I'm getting this right, uh, to transfer the energy to, so, so it had to travel uh, through these energy boxes, and you had to have one like in every city and whatnot, something along, I don't know if that's making sense, but whatever. Alternating current, uh, you could keep these boxes hundreds of miles apart, so it basically the energy travels way further, and it's much more efficient with Nikola Tesla's way. Uh, for this reason, and many other reasons, I'm sure, Edison hated Nikola Tesla, and they were pretty much enemies. So, basically, Nikola Tesla was a genius. He got all the ideas. Edison was more of the uh, the businessman, industrialist, if you want to call him that, that uh, he basically capitalized on ideas. So, I'm not saying Edison didn't have ideas. He, of course, did, but he pales in comparison to Nikola Tesla. So, uh, Nikola Tesla, he wanted to create free energy for the world. He actually harnessed energy from the ground. And uh, they don't teach us about this in school. They teach us about Edison because they don't. If the world knew what Nikola Tesla created, and that it be, this is back in the early 1900s, you know, so we had uh, the capability for free energy a hundred years ago, but people, people in power, uh, kind of shut it down. One of those people was J.P. Morgan. He was actually investing in Nikola Tesla, and. Uh, Nikola Tesla was making some kind of tower, I forget what it's called, because it, I learned a lot about this, but I kind of, it's been a while, so I don't have, I have all the information going right now, but uh, he was building the tower, and I guess he built double the size that he told JP Morgan he was going to build it, which means he would be able to trans, transfer energy to uh, a further distance, wireless energy, not just energy, wireless energy, and, uh, and then I guess JP Morgan uh, withdrew his investment and one of those reasons being is that you can't tax free energy. And, and J.P. Morgan and all these other elitists, uh, they're all about taxing you f to make money, you know what I'm saying? So if they're, if they're going to invest in something, it's going to be so they can make massive amounts of profit. And they know that if we have free energy, they can't charge us for a phone bill, for a, an electric bill, for uh, just, just everything. So it, w it would definitely work against what they're after because all they care about is profit. Uh, Nikola Tesla was celibate his entire life. He died when he was 80. He, uh, apparently he was a virgin his entire life, and he said that that is one of the things that contributed to his genius because he felt that if you devote your energy towards another woman, not that getting married and whatnot is bad, of course, it, that's totally fine, but uh, he felt that if you devote your energy to another woman, then that takes away from your creative energy towards the craft that you want to uh, become a master in. And apparently, he had, a, he had some he had something going for him there because he was one of the the smartest people to ever live. Uh, back when uh, the energy wars were going on between Tesla and Edison, Edison actually had an elephant killed with alternating currents to prove that it was dangerous. And I guess this elephant killed uh, the elephant's trainer. And so they thought that it should be put to death. Uh, so yeah, they killed it with alternating currents, kind of like shocked the crowd. And then Nikola Tesla, he showed the world basically. He he uh, he took like massive amounts of volts, 
and basically transfer them through his body. He let massive amounts of electricity go through his body just to prove that it was safe to use alternating currents. And so he did that, and I guess he put on like a huge spectacle. I believe it was at the World Fair. I'm not sure. Uh, and so he proved that it wasn't dangerous, and, and he kind of showed uh, Edison what's up with that. So I'm tired right now, so I'm not really touching on all the points too well. But uh, Nikola Tesla also said that the majority of his ideas would just pop into his mind. So he uh, he he would he would think of of like an invention, and he wouldn't know exactly how it would work. But he was faithful that uh, that the way it worked was somewhere locked in his mind, and that all he had to do was be patient and wait for it to be presented to him. Meaning that uh, he knew it was in his subconscious mind. And so, with his conscious mind, he, he just had faith that eventually it would come. And then somewhere down the line, the subconscious mind did present the, uh, the idea and exactly how uh, the new inven invention works. And that's something I'm going to touch on in future videos a lot, the subconscious mind power, because that's extremely important. Uh, somewhere along the line, Nikola Tesla's lab burned down. Uh, they said it was an accident. I think it was definitely on purpose. And he lost tons of uh, plans on inventions and whatnot and all that so so yeah Nikola Tesla he's a fucking bomb look him up uh, free energy there's people out there in groups that are still working on his inventions the government actually took a lot of his inventions and they're hiding them right now like his uh I don't know if they're called schematics or just plans or blueprints whatever they're called and they actually have a lot of those but some of them are in the public he uh, I have a video on harp the, uh, the weather changing machine and he's responsible for that technology not that he, he wanted it to be used for, uh, for bad purposes he actually uh, if I remember right I think it was a heart machine or something similar to that but he took the, uh, the blueprints for that technology and he gave a portion of it to America a portion of it to Russia a portion of it somewhere else and basically he spread out the uh, pieces of the blueprints in different superpowers so that they would have to unify and work together to find out what the technology was. And so he totally had, had an awesome uh, awesome idea, but did, it didn't work out. So he was kind of hoping for world peace and that, uh, that the nations would come together and work peacefully to put together the, uh, the pieces of the blueprints to discover this uh, massive technology that he invented. But uh, little did he know, the elitists control every nation pretty much. And so it doesn't matter who you give it to. I mean, they, Russia and America might seem like enemies on the surface, but uh, somewhere behind them, you got people that are run, running the show on both ends. So, uh, definitely worth looking into. Nikola Tesla was a man, like I said. And, uh, yeah, there's there's tons of more. Like, I'm not even touching on, like, uh, like this is just surface, superficial information. I mean, it, go, it, go, it goes so much deeper than this. So, definitely look up. Nikola Tesla and educate yourself. I'm Third War. My album hopefully is coming soon. It's going to be extremely sick. Uh, hopefully I drop some new songs soon. You can check out the songs I already have at youtube.com slash official third war. It'll be up here. Uh, my next video, I don't know what it's going to be about. I might actually drop it tonight. And, uh, and yeah, I just wanted to keep the videos flowing. So Nikola Tesla, look them up. Third War. Peace.